from the National Information Technology Development Agency, NIDA. This is NIDA Impact, your guide to a digital Nigeria. Our daily lives have been rapidly equipped with digital smarts, from landlines to cell phones and cars to cars, helicopters, drones and robots. Digital innovation and technology is taking the center stage, hence a profound need for digital infrastructure. Our focus on NIDA impact today is digital infrastructure development towards digitalized Nigeria. I am Dr. Bello and thanks for joining us. Now you can interact with us by logging onto our website www.nida.gov.ng or follow our social media handles displayed on the screen. NIDA as the national leader in IT innovation and technology development as well as digital infrastructure development in Nigeria has rolled out diverse innovations and interventions in making Nigerians have a seamless experience in the digital world. This is our focus on today's package, but before then, here is the news headlines. Government to intensify war against corruption through digital processes. President Mahmoud Buhari has reiterated his government's resilience in the fight against corruption and the fight against this monster is one for all to be part of. Nigeria at 60 Creativity Challenge Awards. NIDA trains public servants to champion digital economy. President Muhammadu Buhari has reiterated his government's resilience in the fight against corruption and to involve all Nigerians in the fight, stating that success can only be achievable in this fight against this monster when everyone is involved. The president made the assurance when he participated at the national summit with the team, together against corruption which was organized by the Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offenses Commission, ICPC, on how to eradicate corruption in the country. He emphasized that the government, through many technological-enabled platforms such as Treasury Single Account, TCA, Bank Verification Number, BVN, has implemented measures to track the spending of government funds. While acknowledging that more needs to be done in the fight against corruption, the President said the Ethics and Integrity Compliance scorecards of the ministries, departments and agencies of the federal government are excellent preventive measures for detecting of early warning signs of vulnerability of MDAs to corruption and a way of assisting government to take note of MDAs that are prone to corruption and deserve closer scrutiny by government. He applauded the participation of non-actors such as the media and civil society organizations in the fight against corruption. He also commended the ICPC for its enforcement and preventive efforts which includes system studies and reviews that has put measures in place to reduce corruption tendencies in the public service. Director General National Information Technology Development Agency, NIDA, Marlon Kashi for Inua Abdullahi, during his goodwill message, maintained that research has shown that digitization of government processes results in less corruption as it will reduce human interactions, adding that it has also been proven that digital transformation stimulates economic prosperity. He said corruption stalls economic growth, which means that digital transformation and corruption are negatively correlated. The use of digital tools help create more direct channels of feedback and communication between citizens and government by reducing the capacity of government transactions and promoting trust. This also brings about transparency and reduces the opportunity for bribes and influence. He stated further that NIDA has strengthened its clearance process with the objective of instilling transparency and accountability in its project execution. The Minister of Communications and Digital Economy, Dr. Issa Ali Pantemi, called on Nigerians in the creative industry to contribute to national development using their creative skills. He made the call at an award event which was put together as part of activities used in marking Nigeria at 60 celebration in Abuja. Nigerians are highly innovative and uh, they have a very creative mind. It is because of this, in order to promote that creativity and innovation, we allow our citizens to come up with the slogan, poem as the case may be, images, and including even the logo at the initial stage. 
Why? Because it is better to identify your innovation and creativity than just to allow maybe just one team to come up with it on your behalf. Director General Nidda Kashifo Inua Abdullahi in his opening remarks said, in this area of COVID-19, the role of digital embracing in our activities cannot be overemphasized. To recognize you, the ROTs who participated and win during this innovation challenge. You can see we are all happy in this room. I wish you could have been there in the office of the Honorable Minister of Communications and Digital Economy when he was holding a meeting with us, brainstorming on how we can make Nigeria at 60 celebration more exciting and inclusive under COVID-19. Ideally, this Diamond Jubilee celebration would have been a big event, not because of COVID-19. But the Honorable Minister said, we need to find a workaround. We need to celebrate it digitally, and we need to make it inclusive by inviting you to participate in designing and contributing the thematics and creative aspect of the celebration. Dr. Usma Gambo Abdullahi, who headed the jury committee, said a total of 3,000 258 entries were received for the three different categories, namely photography, slogan, and poetry. A portal was created. Opportunities were given to all Nigerians from all walks of life to participate. And interestingly, because of the intense media campaign that was mounted, um, a number of Nigerians participated. Winners from the competition said they are optimistic about the unity of Nigeria. So my, my, um, I actually wrote the poem on the deadline. I just took my, my chance, you know, I said uh, since this is a national competition, this is a part to, you know, contribute to represent myself nationally and just see how it goes. So basically, truthfully, that's it. I just wanted to, you know, be a part of what Nigeria was doing. The four-day training of Batch A on Digital Transformation Technical Working Group, organized by the National Information Technology Development Agency, NIDA, ended with excitement for the participants. Representative of the Director General of NIDA, Dr. Vincent Olatunji, who is the Director of E-Government Development and Regulation of the agency, congratulated and charged the participants to utilize and impact others with what they have been trained and stating that, Everyone has a role to play when it comes to digital transformation. Stay with us here for the past four days. I'll be very, very impactful. And that is why I said you are new, brand new digital economy champions. But as a matter of fact, when the Korean uh, delegation came here, I know we met online with them about uh, six weeks ago. Part of the requirement, part of what they actually wanted on a path to the implementation of the National Government Master Plan is to have this DTTWG in place. Because we worked with them to develop the National Government Master Plan. And also, part of the requirement for the implementation of the National Digital Economy Strategy is to have skilled manpower to be able to deliver on the strategies that we have in the plan and uh, with the feedback we've received i think we are on the right path on this journey uh, the policy of these current administrations is a digital one so we have the national digital uh, strategy in place which is an outshoot of uh, the nigerian e-government master plan that was signed into law since 2015 so drop down to give activities or action toward that. We need to have these DTTWG in place so that they are properly equipped in terms of knowledge and in terms of skills and requirements that are needed.
to ensure that all projects and programs that are happening at the MDAs, which are going to be enabled by the IT, IT products and services, are well coordinated to key in particularly also to the Nigerian government enterprise sector and the e-government, Nigeria e-government interoperability framework. Mrs. Christy Uba, the Director of Information and Communications Technology, National Youth Service Corps, commended the efforts of the management of NIDDA and charged all participants to go back to their various institutions and implement what they have learned. This is a rare opportunity and um, in fact, ICT needs to move very, very fast. And I think that NIDDA is moving in the right direction because in the NYC we have ICT departments and um, it was a battle before we got that department. And I want to encourage all of us that have attended these courses. Uh, it's a wake-up call for us to go back and implement all that we have learned here in this uh, training. And uh, I want to say that we are indeed very, very grateful. And you are going to see us, you know, we will hit the ground running. So I want to thank Nida for this opportunity. The participants who were representatives of various federal public institutions said they are optimistic that the training will in no doubt facilitate their knowledge and transformation in the digital space. And I would like to uh, first of all commend you for the wonderful and brilliant presentation and especially talk about the area of innovation. Um, we are all public servants here. Created by the Honorable Minister of Communications and Digital Economy. Dr. Issa Ali Pantemi on Thursday, 27 August 2020. The training of Badge A started on Monday, 28 September 2020. The DTTWG is a digital governance structure that is critical to the implementation of the National Digital Economy Policy and Strategy for Digital Nigeria. The DTTWG will be responsible for coordinating the implementation of National Digital Economy Policy and Strategy national e-government master plan and any digital transformation related activities in the public sector at the federal level. They are to ensure that all IT projects are designed and implemented in accordance with the provision of the Nigerian government enterprise architecture and the Nigerian e-government interoperability framework. Among its responsibility, it is to work in collaboration with NIDA to develop ICT plan and enterprise architecture including solution architecture for IT deployment for the organization. This. This is NIDA Impact, your guide to a digital Nigeria. Ever since the economist published a story titled The World's Most Valuable Resource is No Longer Oil But Data, the topic has generated a lot of media hype and the buzz phrase, data is the new oil, has become a common refrain. If I would ask you, 
is data the new oil? What would be your answer? For me, data is more than oil because oil is finite resource while data is infinite and usable. At the heart of the data is personal information. Therefore, our personal information is now the world's most valuable commodity. Whoever controls your personal information controls your world. In January 2019, NIDA issued Nigeria Pro Data Protection Regulation to protect your personal information. Enhance ease of doing business and promote information privacy. The model used is one of its kind. It has unlocked opportunities and created new industry, simulated new business models, and empowered thousands of Nigerians through capacity building and skills development. To learn more about our modest achievement in this regulatory instrument between 2019 to 2020. I invite you to join us virtually to witness the launch of the NDPR Performance Report 2019 to 2020 by the Honorable Minister of Communications and Digital Economy, Dr. Isa Ali Ibrahim Pantami, FNCS, FBCS, FIIM at 11 a.m. on 9th October. For more information, follow us at NIDA Nigeria on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, or visit our website to download a copy of the report after the launch. Thank you. The availability of digital infrastructure development is a key component of digital transformation in any nation. Together with digital literacy, digital infrastructure forms a second side of the same coin. While we invest in the human capital to utilize ICT tools, a well-developed ICT infrastructure system balances the odds as regards transformation in a digital age. Yusuf Adebawale is my name. I'm manager production services as well as uh, the facility manager, so to say, for this uh, ICT center. The facilities were provided by NITDA. The whole of the equipment that you have there were provided. General idea, so to say, is for them to also help in expanding the scope of uh, digital penetration. So it's not just meant to be for us as Channel 5, but for all the beneficiaries that will come in through training, through all sorts of engagement that we may have with them. My name is uh, Amina Abdullahi, the principal of Bowman Junior Secondary School, Dawaki, Sule Janeja State. Uh, we receive uh, intervention of uh, a lot of computers, including generator, AC, big fan, and as well as the scammer, printers, and it was well equipped in the computer room. We have a solar as well. Yes. With an intervention of NITA, the NITA, we are able to put this into practice with the students. So many of our students does not even know how, how computers look like. But with this, the students were able to touch and feel it and I use it in teaching them. My name is Sulu Atenesi Joseph. I'm just three weeks. And my school name is Dawaki. He helped me a lot because I've never been in computer, but as I entered the school, they teach me many things, a lot inside the computer. As information technology has influence on everything we do, from our work to quality of life, and the proper functionality of societies. 
Digital infrastructures everywhere in the world focuses on enabling business agility and improving on user experiences. Yeah, my name is Ibrahim Ramalan, uh, a facilitator at the Penlight Center for New Media Innovation, a center established by NITDA. It was set up to be able to, you know, make our job easier. Typically, digital infrastructures improve the things people can do using technology. As the world continues to witness advances in groundbreaking and disruptive technologies, there is a constant demand for innovations that will assist individuals, businesses and government operate better. The National Information Technology Development Agency, NIDDA, in its quest to actualize the federal government policy on digital economy, rolled out innovations after innovations to digitize Nigeria. NIDDA, over the years, has established 988 digital job creation centers, DJCCs, across the country. These centers aim to develop human capital and offer universal access to knowledge and learning materials for institutions, underserved areas and rural community schools. The DJCCs are designed to be commercial driven, providing financing for self-sustainability of the project and its maintenance. In a bid to have functional digital infrastructures across Nigeria and to address and reduce those inhibiting factors, the use of IT herbs to foster the further development of all sectors has become imperative. To achieve this and also support the primary responsibility of the agency, which is regulation and promote the development of the IT sector, NIDDA has developed 10 innovation hubs and incubation parks. These hubs are situated in specific areas and are interested in providing enabling environments for innovations as well as incubation of these innovative to strengthen the ICT industry. NIDDA also recognizes tertiary institutions across Nigeria as a valuable stakeholder towards the actualization of a digital, proficient Nigerian society. To this end, 12 virtual libraries were established by NIDDA, with more institutions expected to be on board, desiring to establish an easy, seamless and remote access to contemporary and up-to-date information and knowledge resources through information resources, tools for schools universities and communities in Nigeria. Similarly, the NIDDA IT community centers across the country are established in order to offer IT solutions to communities and localities. There are currently about six NIDDA IT community centers established in Nigeria. This project will enable indigenous knowledge to solve problems of IT literacy and deepen digital inclusion for citizens in the hinterland areas. Information technology community centers drive the goal of digital inclusiveness of all Nigerians. NIDDA has also rolled out a number of wide area network one facilities aimed at providing information technology infrastructure to Nigerian tertiary institutions to aid them gain access to broadband, internet and other IT services such as IP telephone and IP surveillance systems. The vision of the ONE project is to inculcate a digital lifestyle among the staff and students of tertiary institution and gradually engender the transmission of administrative and academic performance in the digital space. The project will create an enabling environment that will nurture innovation and academic excellence. As part of its objectives, the Wild Area Network will develop local capacity in the areas of computing, software, development and encourage development of disruptive innovation among proponents for the development of IT industry in the country. NIDA has deployed 14 of these projects at various institutions in Nigeria. Another important IT infrastructure initiative of NIDA is the e-learning infrastructure. 251 e-learning infrastructure centers, EICs, currently exist across all the regions of the country. The e-learning infrastructure, also called Virtual Learning Environment, VLE, is designed to assist with the creation of learning communities, allowing interface between learners and the instructors through icon-based user interface. On our innovation lounge today is Mariam Guadabe. She's the CEO of Bill Sapphire and has partnered with NIDDA 
on a number of our programs from startup clinics to dietetics monitoring of women in IT and so on. Enjoy. Our basic aim in Blue Sapphire is actually to provide ICT and entrepreneurship capacity building and also develop sustainable innovations. We were lucky to get the DJC CNT support and this DJC CNT support gave us solar, gave us, gave us generators and gave us our computers and with this in return also we appreciate what needed it to us and we train 200 boys and girls free of charge. So this is to show our appreciation to what NIDA has done to us. And also we have collaborated with NIDA in running a lot of programs in our hub such as the Catch Them Young. This is where NIDA support us in helping young people to learn about um, programming at an early age. So this is, um, and we also, um, and the application pro process for this um, for this um, opportunities to get to NIDA is very seamless and simple because you may think when you apply, it's very, very easy to get it. And um, we have worked with NIDA in also women in ICT training. We have went to the Northwest, Northeast, and also Southwest. We have trained women in ICT, teaching them graphics design, teaching them um, web design, and also basic computer skills, digital marketing. And in return, we have seen a lot of impact from this training that NIDA give women because I have met a lot of women that are really doing amazing things after the training and it's all it's all as a result of the Toro training that we have given them which is part of the NIDA's effort to um, drive the digital economy of Nigeria. NIDA programs have really impacted the community. It has trained a lot of people to know to change their conventional way of entrepreneurship to know that okay there is they need to be innovative to create solutions tech driven solutions to be to be able to compete with the global market they need so part of this startup clinic has teach and startup friday programs and also the jitex program have been able to make people aware of the latest 21st century model of doing businesses and um, i believe with this um, most of this needed training that we have been um, facilitators of are really um, helpful to the community. On our tips today is a useful information in security or financial fraud. Do not give your account details to people you do not know or expect money from, e.g. the public as it is with the recent trend on social media. Verify source of funds. Is it an expected payment and is it from a legitimate source? Check your bank account occasionally for suspicious activities, especially if you give your account details to someone you do not trust or people you do not know. Do not share any personal identification number or information linked with your bank account to untrusted parties. Do not disclose PIN, passwords and online banking login details with anyone. Do not use public network when transacting online. Digital infrastructures are necessary to growing the economy and the society. The advent of coronavirus pandemic has exposed the need for a digital inclusive world and the way to build this capacity is through digital infrastructure, having functional internet, applications and easy access into the digital space. From today's highlights, it's easy to see that NIDA is committed to making Nigeria a fully digitalized nation. Send in your comments and feedback by logging onto our website www.nida.org.ng or follow us on our social media handles displayed right on the screen. This is how much we can take this week, but hey, NIDA is doing more. On behalf of the staff, management and the Director General of NIDA, Malam Kashifu Inua Abdullahi, who is working tirelessly to ensure a digital Nigeria is achieved, we say thanks for watching NIDA Impact. See you again next time, same station. I am Dr. Spendo. Bye for now.